Hello, and welcome to another edition of CUDA Casts. In this video, I'll be showing you a new CUDA 5.5 feature that adds support for the FFTW APIs to the KU FFT library. I will show you how easy it is to move from an existing FFTW application to the KU FFT library and accelerate your code on GPU hardware. The CUDA FFTW library supports all combinations of single and double precision, complex to complex, real to complex, and complex to real transformation. It also includes support for the basic, advanced, and guru interfaces of the FFTW API. We do not support extended precision, real-to-real -real transforms, split memory layout, MPI, or the 64-bit guru interface. In order to help detect unsupported feature usage, we have included an optional header file which will only expose the interfaces we do support. In this way, you can find out at compile time if you're using a feature that is supported or not. Now let's have a look at how easy it is to move an existing FFTW application to using the CUDA FFTW library. Here we have a very simple FFTW application. It's going to do a 3D fast Fourier transform using the dimensions 256 cube, which I have defined up here. We'll allocate data in host memory. We'll then initialize the input data. We will create our FFTW plan. And then finally, we'll execute that plan. So now let's see what the makefile looks like. In this makefile, I have two build targets. One builds the original FFTW library, and another that builds with the CUDA library. Here's the original, and here's the CUDA. Now one more optional piece I've added to the demo code is to check the CUDA FFT define, and if it exists, to include the CUDA FFTW header, and if not, to use the original FFTW header. So now let's try building this app. First we'll just do a make clean, and now I'm going to make the original. And you can see I'm using the basic standard user include for the headers and the user lib to get the FFTW libraries. And now I'm going to build the CUDA version. And you can see we're now using the CUDA 5.5 libraries and the CUDA 5.5 headers. So let's run these. And I will now output the first nine elements of the output array so we can compare against the CUDA version. And you can see we can get very similar results within the correct error bound. And so that's it. That's how easy it is to port your existing FFTW application to the GPU using the CUDA FFT library in CUDA 5.5. Thanks for watching this edition of CUDA Casts.